Today we will review sixth grade math lesson 15.1. This lesson will cover how to explore mean as a fair share. Here's your I can statement. I can find both the fair share and the balance point of a data set <clears throat> using a model or a number line and I can explain my solution method to others. Let's review some vocabulary for today. I encourage you to write this down in the spiral notebook. We have fair share and we have balance point. <clears throat> the fair share tells how many are in each group. The balance point <clears throat> is located at the point on a number line that is equal that is equally sorry that is equally distant <clears throat> so it's where the data distribution is balanced it's another way of looking at it You can think of the mean also as the balance point, which means that the sum of the distances from the mean to the data points above the mean is equal to the sum of the distances from the mean to the data points below the mean. <clears throat> so in this example here, they're saying that the balance point here where that dotted line is 5. And the reason they're saying that is they're saying if you look to the left, of the mean of this dotted line <clears throat> to the points, meaning the dots on the dotted line, you're noticing here that this dot is two points to the left and this one is three points to the left from the number five. So if we add those up, you get five. And now let's look at to the right. What do we have going on on the right side? So from the right side, again, we're measuring <clears throat> from the number five. We can see that we have one dot here on the six. So that's one point away from five. And then we have another point here on the number nine, which is four points away from the number five. And if we add those up, we get five. And so you can tell that here the mean is 5, and that's balanced because 5 and 5, these two numbers here are equally distance. There's 5 on the left, and there's 5 on the right. <clears throat> and mean is another way of describing fair share as well. If those with the most give something to those with the least until everyone has the same amount, then each person would have their fair share. The amount they would have each would be the mean. <clears throat> Let's look at this example below. I encourage you to pause this video at any time and complete these problems on your own first. If you'd like to reference some similar problems, look at homework on page 459. <clears throat> Which of the dashed line segments represents the mean or balance point of the data point shown? So we're going to look here at segment A, and then we're going to look at the dashed line here. <clears throat> We're going to determine whether the sum of the distances from the point to the left 
is equal to the sum of the distance on the point to the right. So again, we're looking at left. So if we look at <clears throat> segment A, you can see there's three dots to the left. So that's where they're getting one plus one plus one plus one equals three, right here. There's three dots and they're one space away from three. Now let's look at the points and the data on the right side of A. So now if we look at the right side of A, <clears throat> excuse me, we see a point on the number five. <coughs> and that is two points to the right of segment A. And then we see a point at six, and that's three points away, and then a point at seven, that's four points away. So we add them up, and the sum is nine. So is three and nine equal? No. <clears throat> so we write here, they are not equal. Okay, let's look at the next line segment. And that would be B. Now we're looking at B. And I'm going to go to the left now. <clears throat> and I noticed that, again, there's three dots on the number two. And then I'm saying from segment B, that's two plus two plus two, which equals six. Now we're looking at the points to the right. And I see there's one at number five, so that's one point away from four. And another dot at six, that's two away from four. And number seven, that's three away from four. So that's six. And are they equal? Yes, six equals six. Now you're going to do the rest for the rest of these line segments. So we see that we have a line segment C here. And then they also have a line segment for D. And you can notice from <clears throat> the points to the left and right, they are not equal. So because line segment B represents the mean or the balance point for the data set. So this here is going to be your balance point. <clears throat> It's also going to be the mean, or it's going to be the fair share. Let's look at the steps involved. So I would write down, if you want to write down the steps involved, so step one would be to draw a dot plot on a number nine. Step two would be to create a table similar to the one here. And step three is we need to determine the mean. And we determine the mean or the balance point <clears throat> by the sum of the distance on the left and the right and see if they are equal. <clears throat> All right, let's look at this question one. Emma surveys her classmates about the number of hours they usually sleep on a school night. Their responses are the following. <clears throat> so step one, draw a dot plot to represent the data. They've done the number line for us here, so let's go ahead and complete that. So I have seven, so I need to put a dot there, and then I have 10. So I usually cross out as I go so I don't get confused. And then here we have eight, 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 so three more eights. One, two, three, and then a 10. 
Okay. <clears throat> Use the dot plot to find the balance point. So at this point, I need to draw my table. So if I'm going to say segment and then left, right, and equal, whether they're equal or not. <clears throat> so I can first say, well, what if I draw segment A and B? So I could label that A and B. Those are kind of both in the middle. Let's just see which one would work. So I want to kind of do an, a dotted line here for segment A. <clears throat> so to the left of segment A, I only have one. And to the right, I would have one plus two plus two plus three plus three. So that would equal 11. So are those equal? No. <clears throat> okay, now let's do B. Uh, I'm not going to really erase this. Okay, so now let's try B. What if then I try and that would be my balance point? So let's see if that is my balance point. So look at the left. What do I have to the left? I've got four that are one away, so that's one, two, three, four. And then I have another point here where on the seven that that's two away, so that would equal six. <clears throat> now look at the points that I have to the right of number nine. I have two points on the number 10, so that would be 1 plus 1, and then I have two points on 11, 2 plus 2, and that would equal 6. So those are equal. <clears throat> so then this part would be my mean or my balance point. So that would be 9 hours because that's the mean. <clears throat> Let's do it again for this problem. Isabella has a basket of fruit with three apples, six bananas, five oranges, four pears, and two peaches. So I need to write down those numbers. Three, six, five, four, two. She wants to share the fruit with her friends. Each person would get the same number of pizzas, so that's a fair share, which is the mean. So how many pieces would each person have? Remember, same number is the mean. So I need to put these in order. Two, three, four, five, and six. So I need to go ahead and do a number line here and plot those points. I have one on each of them. So this one's <clears throat> fairly simple to kind of see. Because if I just fold it in half here, I know that on the left side, you would have one and two, that would be three. And on this side, one plus two is three. So that would be equal and balanced on each side. Because I know if I have for the number four, and I say left, and then I have right, and equal. <clears throat> so the left side I would have 1 plus 2 and on the right I have 1 plus 2. So 3 equals 3. So the answer would be 4 pieces of fruit because that number 4 here is my balance point or my fair share or my mean. That is our lesson 4 Module 15, Lesson 1, Grade 6.